This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Well, hello everybody. I am Jay, Leonard J, and today we are looking at my active five string Yamaha BB bass. Welcome to Jay's Toolbox. This is the place where I actually talk about the stuff that I use personally on a day-to-day -day basis, the stuff that inspires me, and I use to create all the sounds you hear on the page and elsewhere in all my other musical endeavors. And today, we're talking about bass stuff. If you've heard anything that I have done with a bass in it within the last, I'm gonna say, year and a bit, it's gonna be this bass. I've pretty much been using this bass exclusively on everything just because I find it incredibly versatile and uh, just really, really a joy to play. This is a Yamaha BB735A broad bass or broad body bass, depending on who you ask. Uh, definitely a really, really cool piece of kit. I was using a couple different basses before this, and what I really wanted is I just wanted a bass that had an incredible amount of versatility and that I could put in any situation, any style of music, and it would sit just perfectly with a minimal, you know, upkeep and everything like that. And this really fits the bill in every possible way. This is a five string bass and it is active. There's a little switch here to make it passive when I wanna go that route too. I like to go passive when I go in an amp and I like to go active when I'm going into something like a DI. I don't know, that's just something about me. Anyway, uh, this is a PJ style bass. So it has the big old P bass pickup over here for those uh, classic old school sounds. But then when I wanna get a little bit more soloistic, a little bit more funky or burpy, I like to get right here on that bridge pickup. So it's a nice little blend. It gives me, again, lots and lots of versatility. Uh, the neck is five piece. The body is, I think it's a three piece body. It's uh, its like a sandwich. It's like an alder, maple alder sandwich body here. Uh, so again, just lots of like solidness, not a lot of moving around, just rock solid. And you can even see it with that, uh, the joint here. Look at this, there's, instead of just four screws, there's six screws and it's coming at this thing at all kinds of different crazy angles. So a really rock solid neck. This is for the, uh, the battery enclosure. And they did some cool things to the uh, bridge as well. Uh, there's a, I guess, the, a 45 degree angle, or it's coming at some kind of angle here, the strings, to kind of lessen the break angle here to make the bass just feel a little less stiff. And if you want, uh, you could also top load this thing. But for me, I have it going through, I have it going through uh, the, the body, just for the fun of it. So uh, the way I have this bass hooked up right now is uh, it's going into uh, a radial HDI DI. You can see it right over here. And uh, let's just dig into this thing a little bit. Let's go into the active mode and there's little detents over here. And uh, let's go over to the good old fat P pickup here and just get some classic sounds. <laughs> And let's move it over to the in-between position so it's equal blend both pickups. Let's go into the uh, bridge position now. is uh, you can add a little bit of the bass here, a little bit of the treble, get a little bit of a scoop sound. <laughs> I could even go all the way to, uh, my, my like go-to is like, all the way up here with just a little bit of that bridge pickup and then I can actually even everything out. Let's get everything in the center detents and then actually just add a touch more bait or, or mids, touch more mids.
very, very lovely. Let's go over to the passive mode. And you can tell there's not a big uh, jump in tone difference. Uh, I'm gonna go neutral here. Passive mode. So you're not gonna get like a huge leap. It's very, very nice. What I like to do is I like to go passive mode uh, and uh, kind of get with the pick to get that. Get a little bit of fuzz there. <laughs> now let's go over to the uh, the bridge pickup. Now you're wondering where's the tone knob? Well, the treble knob actually acts as the tone knob when I'm in uh, this mode. So all the way from zero to five, that's the range of the tone up so I can get it really muted. Bring it up. And that is my Yamaha BB Bass. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Lots of really cool classes you can take from film editing, movie stuff, guitar playing, the sky's the limit. This month, I watched Claire Liu's Effective Communication, Five Best Practices for Remote Teams. There I learned some techniques to get the most out of my remote meetings. Here is a cool tip. Telling an embarrassing or funny story during a brainstorming session can produce about 26% more ideas from your team. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of a premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description below and uh, support the page on Patreon. That's where I do all my reviews, where all the demos and lessons and other videos are right here on YouTube. Uh, that being said, I guess I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.